Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Angelica. Lisette, Patty. Good to see you in the class. How was the weekend, Wendy? Did you have a good time? Oh, I think Wendy doesn't hear me yet. Angelica, what about you? How was your weekend? What did you do? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Well, my weekend wasn't very good because mm -hmm. I feel sick. <laughs> ah, oh my God. And what symptoms do you have? Like a flu or? Uh, yes, but it was COVID. <laughs> It is. It uh, is yes. COVID. Ah, okay. And how are you feeling? Are you okay? Or yes. Um. Right now I'm bad. feeling okay. Ah, okay. It's, it's not that bad. bad. That bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the good, the good part about it. But yeah, it's a very contagious uh -huh, virus, right? So it's difficult yes. to escape. <laughs> it's difficult to escape from it. But good to have you here, Angelica. Welcome. And what about you, Lisa? Thank you, teacher. What did you do during the weekend? Can you tell us two activities you did? Are you there, Lisa? Maybe not. And you, Tati? What can you tell us about your weekend? Tati, no? Ah, okay. Hi, Tati. Hi, teacher. Could you tell us something that you did during the weekend? My weekend, I was in house. Uh-huh. And, and what did you do in your house? Do you hear me, Tati? Me eh, escucha. No le entendí mucho la pregunta. Tío. Ah, one activity, una actividad. One activity you did during the weekend. Una actividad que hizo el fin de semana. You did on the weekend. Um, In my your house. My house. Uh -huh. That can be one. And cooking with my mother. Uh -huh. And you cook. You cook with your mom. Yes. yes. Thank you, Daddy. Okay, so we are going to describe what we see. We have to use there is and there are. And you mentioned what you see here. Van a decirme qué es lo que ven acá, el número, ¿verdad? De objetos que ven en cada casilla. We will start with you, Catherine. Picture number one. Hay que usar there uh, is or there are, Catherine. Uh, uh, how do you say back? I don't remember. Cow. Uh, a cow. Uh -huh. Is it either there is or there are? Uh, there is. Uh -huh. There is one. Uh, uh, or one a. cow. Uh -huh. There is one cow. Please repeat, Catherine. There is a uh, one cow. There is one cow. One more time. There is one cow. Uh -huh. Correct. Thank you, Catherine. Let's You're continue welcome. with Monica. Picture number two, Monica. Can you repeat? I don't hear you, Monica.
No sound, Monica. I don't know if you hear me. No sé si me oye, Monica. No le escucho. Maybe send it in the chat. Si me escucha, quizás lo puede enviar en el chat. I, I don't hear you. Okay. Eric, can you help us with the next one, please? The one here. Um, the, there is a spider. There is a spider. Correct. Thank you, Eric. Amanda, next picture. Yes, there are, let me see, um, video games. There are uh -huh. two video games, no. And what is the name of the thing that you use? Um, control of video game. There mm -hmm. are two control of video games. Okay, Amanda. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now let's continue with Hazel. Okay, Hazel, the picture you see here. Uh, there are uh, ice cream. Uh -huh. Thank you. Solo que en inglés, el ice cream, así no se puede contar. Puede decir que son dos ice cream cones. Le agrega los okay. conos y hoy sí. There are two cones. ice cream cones. Could you repeat, Hazel, one, one more time? Okay. Pero entonces es, there is a two, o there, there are. are a two. Uh -huh. There, there are. are a two ice cream cones. Okay, uh -huh. that sounds better. Thank you, Thank Hazel. You. Now, Wendy, hello, Wendy, the one here. Uh, there is a carrot. A one carrot. Uh -huh. Correct, Wendy. Thank you. Thank Let's you. continue with the one here and we will listen to Vanessa Carranza. Um, there are four dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, they look like dinosaurs, right? Or a one. Gecko dinosaur. Aha, uh -huh. so let's go with little dinosaurs. Thank you, Vanessa. Now let's continue with Vanessa uh, Ramirez. Okay, the one here. Okay. Uh, there are. Mm -hmm. uh, donkey. And the number, how many? Uh, two monkeys. Donkeys. Yes, there are two donkeys. 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 Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Vani. Okay, now let's continue here. And we will check the one here. Okay, let's continue with Alfredo. Alfredo, can you tell us the number that you see here? Are you there, Alfredo? No? Mario, can you continue, please? Can you help us with the one yeah. here? There are four scissors. Four scissors, correct. Thank you, Mario. Okay. Well, hi, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. If you can turn on the camera, please remember to activate the camera. And well, I'm going to play a conversation, okay? I'm going to play a conversation. Voy a darle play a una conversation. You have to listen and answer three questions. Por favor, escúchenla y luego le vamos a dar respuesta a las siguientes preguntas. Number one, can you read question number one, Marlon, please? Are you there, Marlon? Yes. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Could you read question one? <clears throat> Is there much noise in the downtown? Thank you. Uh -huh. Is there much noise? What about the next one, Monica? Number two. 
Mónica. How many restaurants are there? Thank you, Mónica. That's the next question. Marisol, can you read the last question, please? Question number three. Marisol. Okay. Lisette, can you read it, please? Correct. Is there much crime? Thank you. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? No sé si hay alguna duda con el vocabulary. Something you don't understand? What is the meaning of noise? Noise. When I will try in English first. When you hear a lot Rio, of voices Rio, uh -huh, Rio. or sounds at the same time, but it's disturbing, algo que molesta, right? That's noise. Okay, so I will play it twice. Voy a ponerla dos veces. And try to look for the answers. Okay. Give me one moment. I'm going to play it twice, two times. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, ready? Ready to answer the questions? Están listos para responder? Or oh, again, los repetimos? Yes, <laughs> no. What do you think? Um, let's see, Vanessa Carranza, what do you think? Lista, Vanessa. So, so, okay. Let's try. Let's try. Podemos utilizar el Reactions Tool. Ahí hay una, una, un icono, ¿verdad? On the, at the bottom, en la parte inferior de su, de su Zoom, van a encontrar un, uno que dice reacciones. You can use the Reactions Tool Eh, si utilizan este, va a ser true. Ok, true, como yes. Y si no, utilizan el chat y me, me envían un private message. Ok, whatever you want to, como ustedes deseen. Question number one. Is there much noise in the downtown? Please send me the answer. Yes or no? No. No, Alfredo, okay. Thank you. Angelica says no. Mario says yes. Okay, Wendy, Hazel, Catherine, said Eric, everyone no. sent me your opinion. No, there is any. Okay, thank you. Vanessa Ramirez, Tati. 
Kelia. You can use the, the chat or you can say it. So you said, well, some of you say yes and some of you say no. The right answer is no, no, there isn't. Or that is what the, the lady said. This is lo que ella dijo, right? <laughs> that there is no. But at the end, but al, al final, como que no era como ella pensaba. So the answer is no. Hablando de lo que ella dice. She said no. Number two, question number two. How many restaurants are there? How many restaurants, guys? A lot restaurants. For you, a lot, Wendy. Okay, thank you. Okay, Catherine, thank you. Please send your opinion and then we check. Okay, I think I have, I have most of you. The answer, a lot. Uh -huh. There are a lot of restaurants. Thank you. Question number three. Is there crime? Is there crime in that city? What do you remember? Crime? Please send your opinion. Yes or no? Okay, thank you. I have some of your answers. Ya tengo algunas de sus respuestas. She said the city is safe. Ella dijo que no, prácticamente, que era un lugar seguro. But at the end, something was happening, pero al final como que no, no pegaba la respuesta de ella. Okay, so thank you guys. Thank you for the, the answers. Let's continue. In this class, we are going to talk about there is and there are. We will practice how to use there is and there are. Okay. This is one. And the other one is there are, right? I imagine you are familiar with them. Me imagino que están familiarizados con ellos porque los estuvieron utilizando hace un momento. Okay, so the use, there is and there are. We use them to point out an item. An item. Los utilizan para señalar, ¿verdad? Objetivos o o objetos. There is es como hay, ¿verdad? Los dos son hay para describir el número de algo, hay. Pero there is is for singular nouns, right? En inglés hay dos. Tenemos the singular one and there are for plural. Plural nouns, okay? For example, There is, and I have to use a singular noun, so voy a utilizar. There is, and you have two options. To say one, you have two options. You can say a or an, right? Recuerden que en inglés podemos utilizar la palabra a para decir uno. But you have two options. Hay dos variaciones. Está a and an. Okay, Mario, do you remember when you have to use a? ¿Usted recuerda cuando se utiliza a? No. No. 
No. Yeah. Okay. Is there someone? Yeah. Hay alguien? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me, Vane. In Spanish. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. A se, A es cuando la siguiente como es la siguiente palabra inicia uh -huh. en en consonante y uh -huh. A se inicia con vocal. Thank you. Correct. Thank you, Vane. So, correct. This one is used with with consonants. And this one is with vowels, okay? Cuando su noun, for example, there is a, y si lo que voy a decir es una consonante, empieza con consonante, voy a usar a. There is one card. Eso es lo que estoy diciendo. There is one card. Or I can say there is an, y ahora tiene que ser vocal, an apple on the table, okay? That's the, the one we, we use, okay? Depende de la siguiente palabra, okay? Esa es la que va a decir cuál voy a usar. Okay, and we use, we use there is with, to be more specific, uh, specific, singular count count. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Tenemos cosas que se pueden contar y cosas que no se pueden contar. The same as in Spanish. Lo malo es que en inglés <laughs> hay cosas que para nosotros se pueden contar y en inglés no se puede. Okay. Okay, so we have count nouns and you have non-count nouns, okay? Tenemos dos tipos. Count nouns. Things. Things. We can count. Objects you can count. Si lo pueden contar, es countable. Can you send me by chat things that we can count? Pueden enviarme en el chat in English. Things we can count. We can count people. Podemos contar, ¿verdad? People. Give me more ideas in English. Vocabulary. Things we can count. We can count people. What else? Money. Okay, thank you. Animals. What else can we count? Okay, fruit. We can count cars. Houses, more ideas, English, objects. Okay, thank you, Tati. We can count computers. Uh -huh. Pencils, bathrooms, buildings. Thank you. Algo que se puede contar tiene dos formas. Puede tener su forma singular y la forma plural. Por ejemplo, de people, ¿verdad? El singular es person. Animals, la manera singular es animal. Car, house, computers. Sorry, computer. Building. Okay. Algo que se puede contar va a tener dos formas, la singular y la plural. Non-count nouns, things, things we can't count. Okay. Esto es lo opuesto, algo que no podemos contar. Okay. Can you mention things we cannot count? Thank you, Mario. Ajá, no podemos contar liquids, ¿verdad? Líquidos, water. What else? Les voy a dar más acá también. Coffee, time, sugar, homework. Y esta es una importante. En inglés no podemos contar las tareas. No se puede contar homework. Salt, thank you. Ajá. We cannot count. 
advice. Advice son consejos. In Spanish podemos contar los consejos. In English we cannot. Okay. Cuando algo es no contable, when something is not countable, it doesn't have a plural form. Todos estos no tienen una forma plural, solo hay una manera. Waters, no existe. Coffees, no. Times, sugars, homeworks, no. Salt, advices, no. Ok, solo tienen una manera. Ok, ahora, relacionándolo al tema, there is. There is lo usamos con singular count nouns. Ok, tienen que ser cosas que podemos contar. Why, porque recuerden que, give me one moment. Acá, ok, here podemos utilizar números. Yo puedo decir, there are four cars, right? Puedo usar números con count nouns, pero con non-count nouns no usamos números en inglés. There are one water, no se puede porque no lo puedo contar. Ok, si quieren utilizar un non-count noun, no le pongan la A porque la A significa uno. Solo es así. There is homework. There is homework. Ok. Es singular y singular, pero no le voy a poner la A porque no puedo contarla. Ok. There is coffee in the kitchen. Ok. No A. Why? Because I cannot count them. Negative form. There is not, okay? There is not a party tonight, okay? O pueden usar la contraction. There isn't. There isn't a party tonight. Si es countable, sí tiene que llevar la A. Okay? Non-countable, no A. Porque la A significa one, right? Pero si no lo puedo contar, no le puedo poner un nombre. I cannot use numbers. Do you have any comments right now? No sé si hay algún comment for now. About there is? No, not right now. Okay, for questions. If you ask a question para preguntas, let's do the same. Vamos a hacer lo mismo de siempre. Change the position of the verb be and is. Is there, okay, I change the position, cambié la posición. Is there a cat in your house, Lisette? Is there a cat in your house? No, Thank you. Yes, it's a short answer. Good job. No, there isn't. Now let's, uh -huh. next question. Is there a pharmacy? Okay, only one. Is there a pharmacy in your city? Vanessa Ramirez, is there a pharmacy in your city? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there is. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, there is. Excellent. There is. Okay, this is the, the short form. Solo utilizan there y el verb be. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Y la position, right, guys? Change the position. Okay, now there are. Let's continue with there are. We use it with plural count nouns. Vamos a ponerle eso aquí. Count nouns. Tiene que ser algo que se pueda contar, ¿ok? Para plural, de dos en adelante. There are a lot of cars in Mexico, ¿ok? There are. 
a lot of cars. Many, many cars. There are a lot. Negative form, there aren't, there aren't mm -hmm, hospitals in my town. There aren't the negative form. Pueden utilizar la contraction or no contraction. There are not. There are not tables in the restaurant. Okay, so you can use any of the options. And for questions, we do the same. Y para preguntas siempre vamos a hacer lo mismo. You change the position of the verb be and there. Van a cambiar la posición de su there y el verb be. Are there y luego el, el object del que estén hablando. Let's do it with Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Are there many people in your house? Are there many people in your house, Heidi? Hi, teacher. No. Uh -huh. You can say no there. No, there are many people in my house. Uh -huh. You can use the contraction. Puede usar la contraction, solo no, there aren't. Aren't, no. Mm -hmm. One. Only cat. one person. Ah, only one cat and you. One cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so no, not too many people there. Okay, no. then question number two. Are there, again, are there many cars in your house, Wendy? Are there many cars in your house, in your garage? Many yes, cars? Yes, yes they... There are. Excellent. How many cars do you have? Two cars. Ah, okay. So we can say yes. There, there two are. Two. Oops. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay, solo recuerden de poner el verb apropiado, ¿verdad? Si es plural, hay que usar la forma plural. Are. Okay. Si es singular, entonces vamos a utilizar is, right? That's the, the right one. Okay, ready to practice? Ya estamos listos para practicar? ¿O hay alguna duda antes que comencemos? Comments? Questions? No. No Hi. questions. Hello. Welcome, Anna. Do you have questions? You, sorry. It's okay. Yes, I don't... Eh, lo siento porque acá hace poco terminé una clase y me conecté. Y medio vi pude. el teléfono que me, <risas> me envió un mensaje. Ajá, y al grupo. Yes, yeah, sorry, que no puedo ver mucho el teléfono ahorita. But it's okay to have you here, Ana. No sé si tiene alguna preguntita. Questions about there is or there are. Eh, que solamente, no sé si van a trabajar ahorita en un grupo o algo. No yes. Sé. We're about to do that. I have a question. Ah, okay, Lisa. Give me one second. So, what is the, the question, Anna? Eh, vamos a trabajar con lo que nos ha puesto ahorita. Eh, uh -huh. la... A document that I sent. Hay un documento que envié by chat. By WhatsApp. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, en okay. ese vamos a empezar a trabajar en unos minutos. Ah, okay. Yes. okay. Ya les explico. Ajá. Uh -huh. Lisa, okay. how can I help you, Lisa? Teacher, there yes. is, eh, se usa en countable nouns. Y non count nouns. Ajá. La en única ambos. diferencia es la A que le agregamos, ¿verdad? La A la vamos uh -huh. a poner para count nouns, porque la A es para, es para contar. One. Y si es non count nouns, si es no contable, no ponemos A. Solo ponemos el item. Homework, advice. Mañana va a continuar esta clase porque hay varias cosas que hablar de eso, ¿verdad? Pero así es, Lizette. Non-count nouns and count nouns. Ok. Thank you, teacher. 
Okay, you're welcome. So we will practice in this moment and I sent a document. I sent a document by WhatsApp and you have to, well, we will do it in pairs. So vamos a trabajar en parejas. You have to write affirmative sentences. Van a leer el, el complemento y tienen que decidir. There is or there are. Part number two, write the sentences in exercise one into negative, into the negative form. Las van a cambiar de afirmativas a negativas. And number three, create four questions. Open to you. Van a crear cuatro preguntas y puede ser lo que sea. No exactamente de, la, de las oraciones. That is all you have to do. Okay, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Do you have questions about the activity? Is it clear? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm going to open the rooms in the next seconds. You can accept the invite and I will visit you. pregunta la que Ajá. vamos a la la, eh, la ¿cómo se dice? la oración en negativo ah sí sí sí, sí. ya estaba haciendo la tercera entonces sí entonces hi guys they, uh, sorry hi. to interrupt Catherine I just wanted to know if you needed help solo quería saber si necesitaban ayuda do you need help mm -hmm. No, teacher. I know. I had a little question. Uh huh. 
before. Eh, ¿Verdad que ahí no se le puede agregar la app? Que es well, part, en la number four. Part Some number part. one. Ajá. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, no, no se puede agregar porque es plural. Mm -hmm. Los parques sí se pueden contar, parts. Pero como dice que Ajá. hay algunos, ya no es solo uno, sino más de ah. uno. Ya, ya, ya. That is old. Okay, so I'm going to let you continue. Maybe in about three to four minutes, we will return, maybe. Por ahí, okay. para que se hagan una idea, porque también hay que crear las questions, right? Okay, okay. see okay. you in okay. one moment. Okay. Bye. Okay. Hi, Vanny. Hola. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Hola. Hi. Do you need help? ¿Necesitan ayuda por acá? Do you need help? Mm, quizás solamente que no sé si estamos haciéndolo bien. En, okay. la, en la parte ya de estar escribiendo las eh, oraciones positivas o negativas, uh -huh. eh, la primera que pusimos fue There is a half car. Y la forma negativa de ir en la car. Ah, pero ustedes la están como creando, inventada. Sí. Ah, es la, la que está en la parte 1. Mm. En part 1 la va a transformar. A negro. Ah, es la misma, pero en negativo. Viendo. Ajá. Oh, sí, yeah. así como there are five shops, no, no. there aren't five shops. Oh. Ah, y nosotros creándola. <ríe> <laughs> no. Uh, so just oh, the ones yeah. you have there, y luego vamos a las questions. Create the questions. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y tenganlas ahí como a la mano porque vamos a hacer una sesión de preguntas. Ok. Ah, ok. So, okay. Mm -hmm. ok. How much time do you think it will take you? Like three more minutes? Como en tres minutos, tal vez. Ok. okay. okay. All right. More questions. And you, Vane, Carolina. Vane, no. Cajanza. No. Okay, I'll see you in, in one moment. Goodbye. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Heidi. Do you I need help? help? No, es sacó la formulación de las cuatro questions. Pregunta. Ah, okay, sí. excellent. In the other room, in the main room, we will check together. Ahí en, en el main room vamos a cerciorar que todo esté ahí bien, ¿ok? No sé okay. si hay algo de la gramática con la que les pueda ayudar que no hayan entendido. About there is and there are. Pues creo que hasta ahorita vamos. Okay. ok, mañana continuamos con el tema, pero vamos poquito a poquito, right? Porque muy poquito tiempo tenemos, así que no podemos hacer todo en un día. Ok, all right, I will let you continue. En unos two more minutes vamos a regresar, ok? okay. All right, Thank see you. you. Elisette, hello Marisol. Hello, teacher. Have you finished? Finished. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are ready to return. Are there? Okay, number one, are there a library? Tendría que ser is. Porque ah, okay. es una. Okay. Is there a pencil in your bag? Is there? Y en la, de, en la number three le hace falta la Alice. Is there a computer? Ah, okay. Y, ajá, el your, no sé, o qué quería decir en, en la number three. Que si era. Ah, pero es que lo estaba ah, diciendo de otra forma. Es dif... Ajá, eso es, porque aquí es de hay, ¿verdad? Hay. Ajá, es cierto. Y la de noise, el noise no se puede contar. Entonces sería, is there noise in the city? Ah. Okay. Maybe you can Thank modify you. modify the questions and that's it. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so we we will check the 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 exercise. Okay, now Catherine, Vanessa, Carolina, Heidi, Vanessa, Lisette Castillo, Alfredo, Guillén. 
Angelica Lazo, Amanda, Marlon, and Ana, please send the four questions by chat, okay? Por favor, a los que mencioné, envíenme las cuatro preguntas que usted y su pareja creó. Katherine Reyes, Vanessa Carolina, Heidi Vanessa, Lisette, Alfredo, Angélica, Amanda, Marlon, and Ana. En un solo paragraph, please. Okay, in this moment, we will check the answers. Vamos a revisar que todos tengamos lo mismo in part one and part two. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, so here we have this. And we will start with Vanessa Ramirez. Vanessa Ramirez, number one, what is the answer? Okay, there are five shops. Perfect, uh -huh. thank you. There are five shops. Thank you, Vane. Vanessa Carranza, okay. number two. Uh, there is a lot of restaurants. Thank you. So look at Ivane, restaurants, it's plural. Is it solo para un, un restaurant? So uh, there, are. Case, uh -huh, there are. There are a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. Thank yes. You. Wendy, number three. There is a building. Uh -huh. Excellent. There is. Thank you, Wendy. Now let's continue with Marisol. There are some parks. Perfect. There are some parks. Eric? Can you continue, Eric? There is a library. Thank you. There is a library. Just the pronunciation. Library. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hazel, number six, Hazel. Uh, there is a bus station. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just the pronunciation, it will be there is a bus, bus station. Besides that, yes. It's perfect, Hazel. Thank you. Now, Monica, who were you working with? ¿Con quién estaba trabajando, Monica? Who were you working with? Um, Tati, can you continue? Number seven. There is a gym. There is a gym. Thank you, Tati, correct. Okay, part number two is just transformation. ¿verdad? En la segunda parte solo íbamos a poner la manera negativa de cada una de ellas. Okay, let's begin with Catherine Reyes. Number one in the negative form, please. They aren't five shops. There aren't five shops. Thank you. Now, Vanessa Carolina. Number two in the negative form. There aren't a lot of restaurants. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Heidi, Vanessa. We have many Vanessas in these classes, right? In this class, four. Four Vanessas. <laughs> okay, so Heidi, number three. Three negative. Uh -huh. There is not a building. <clears throat> building. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi. Correct. Let's continue, Lisette. Number four in the negative form. Are you me? Uh -huh. What's well, okay. there? Number four. There are not any parks. There. Habría 
There are not, okay. Mm -hmm. There aren't any parks. Thank you, Lisette. Now, Walfredo, number six. Okay. <clears throat> there isn't a bus station. Thank you. Correct. Angelica, number seven. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Mm, there is a gym. There isn't a gym. There isn't a gym. Okay, excellent. Excellent. You did very well with the changes and the right form of the verb. Be. Questions about that part? No sé si tienen alguna duda. Have anything you may want to ask? I checked the rooms. Estaba chequeando los, los grupos, ¿verdad? Los parejas, pero no pude verlos a todos. So, do you have questions, guys? No. Ok, let me check the questions. Voy a revisar rapidito las preguntas solo para ver si todas están bien. Catherine. Catherine, la number two. Hay que poner is there. Porque esa que está ahí, Catherine, es como de si ese es su carro o algo así se, sería. Pero estamos hablando de a ver, de hay, si hay cosas, si hay un carro, si hay dos. Entonces quedaría... Is there a car? For example, is there a car? Are there some, some forests? Le vamos a agregar la S a forests. Is there, y a computer le va a quitar la S porque es singular. Is there a new computer? Okay, thank you. And then let's continue with Angelica. Is there a bakery? Yes. Are there a lot of students? Is there a big college? Are there many? Excellent. Thank you, Angelica. Ana, are there four motorcycles? Solo vamos a modificar motorcycle. And besides that, it is, it is correct. It will be like this, motorcycle. And then are there two cups? Is there a, is there, Cheese in English, no se puede contar. Solo sería, is there cheese? Is there a hospital? Yes. And then Marlon, are there cars? Is there a TV? Uh -huh. Is there a dog? Are there many trees? Thank you, Marlon. Lisette, is there a pencil? Uh -huh. Are there many dogs in your house? Is there a computer in your desk? Are there many, many persons or people? Lisette, but thank you. Uh -huh. You modified the, the answers. Alfredo. Is there a park? Are there many cars? Is there a computer? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alfredo. Mario, uh -huh. are there? You change the, the ones in the book, right? In the document. Thank you, Mario. Those questions are correct. And then, Heidi, are there some parks? Is there a library? Is there a gym? Excellent. Okay. Now we still have time for some questions. We are going to start with Catherine. Catherine, ask. Hazel, please. Una de sus preguntas para Hazel. And Hazel, listen and give the answer. Okay. Is there a computer? Yes, there is. Okay, thank you, Hazel and Catherine. Now, Wendy, question for Marlon, please. And is there a gym in your works? Mm -hmm. mm, no, there isn't. Perfect. Thank you, Wendy and Marlon. Angelica, ask Alfredo, please. Eh, cualquiera de las preguntas que hicimos. Yes. O, mm, Alfredo, is there a big college in your city? No, no, they aren't. Listen again, Alfredo. Angelica, please repeat. Okay. Is there a big college in your city? Oh, okay. No, there isn't. Excellent. Uh -huh. Thank you, Angelica and Alfredo. Ana, please ask Vanessa Carolina, please. 
Okay. Uh, is there is there a hospital? No, there is a hospital. There One more time. Aha, uh -huh, there isn't. There isn't a hospital. There isn't. Okay, great job. Thank you, Anna and Vane. Now, Mario, let's continue with you. Please ask Lisette. Mm. Is there a park in your city? Mm -hmm. Yes, they, there is a park. There is a park. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow we have the continuation. Mañana seguimos con la continuación, ¿verdad? Vamos a seguir viendo otras palabritas son, que son similares y más de countdowns and non-countdowns during the week. Okay, but for sure. now. Yes, Anna? Sorry, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, I finished the homework, the season two. Uh -huh. uh, but in the last exercise, uh, I don't know how do you say todas me salieron mal. All of them were okay. incorrect. Uh -huh. okay. uh, but I listened the video and I wrote the answer. But uh, okay, Ana, le escribo entonces en privado y vemos qué pasó para que lo solucionemos. Okay. Para que lo arreglemos. Solo que le voy a escribir más noche porque ahorita todavía tengo una clase. I okay. will text you around 10.30. Si no se ha dormido. Okay. Si no, mañana durante el día. Tarde. Okay, no problem, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, have a good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams okay. to all of you. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night, Bye. teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.